Hello luxury watch lovers! In this channel, I cover the background, fundamental design features and things to consider before buying your watch. If you have a luxury watch that you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments below. In today's video, we're going to cover the GG Le Coutre Master Control Date. These chronographs are bold and admirable timepieces with a notably sleek design and rounded watch face, making them the ideal addition to any collection. The Master Collection includes the Master Grand Tradition, Master Control, Master Geographic and Master Ultra Thin. Each serves a unique shape and style to the person wearing it. The master control date is one of the purest expressions of the art of watchmaking. A model made of the purest stainless steel that marks a new chapter in the history of GG Master Le Coutre's control collection. This collection reinterprets the iconic round shape of wristwatches that were popular in the 1950s, setting a new standard in fine watchmaking, which was among the most significant changes made to the entire collection. GG Le Coutre, founded in 1833, has earned unique renown status in the Swiss watchmaking industry due to its distinct aptitude and constantly evolving sense of innovation. Because every step of creation is completed within its own grand maison, its watches exhibit an elite sense of precision and dependability. Each timepiece created by a GG Le Coutre watchmaker is endowed with a level of technical perfection that is only surpassed by its impeccable design standards. The GG Le Coutre Master is a departure from accessories, focusing solely on the essentials. It is an expression of meticulously refined watchmaking tradition. It is a magnificently elegant timepiece, distinguished by its sleek design and emphasis on precision above all else. The master demonstrates the dependability that comes with movements developed by master craftsmen through technical features that provide a wide range of functions. It remained relatively unchanged as a design throughout its life, which is a good thing because it earned a loyal following and this time around, it's been overhauled and packed with new technology. As a result, four novelties were released, one of which was the Master Control Date, the most austere, straight-edged wristwatch in the series, and arguably the entire GG Le Couture collection. The Master Control collection is chock full of eye-catching timepieces, some more complicated than others. While I do enjoy high horology watches, JLC has demonstrated enough horological muscle in the past to convince me that they are more than capable of achieving the lofty goals that they set for themselves. A more classic and functional watch, on the other hand, has a certain charm. It's essentially the same sensation as discovering a simple and pleasant song that makes you feel good, but remembering and appreciating it decades later. The watch we're looking at today is one of those. No, the new master control date isn't going to rewrite history, but a regular technical visual update is always appreciated, especially if the watch in question is a popular model. The master control date is a great place to start your GG Le Coutre collection or your foray into higher end brands in general. It's dependable, handsome and reasonably priced. The master control's aesthetics are so simple that they don't even allow for much of a drastic change to begin with, which is a good thing. It's a straightforward design that works, and as the saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. There is, however, always room for technical advancement. The Caliber 899 has been improved with a reshaped escapement and silicon pallets for less friction resistance. Furthermore, the central seconds wheel has been redesigned to reduce vibration and critical screws are made of titanium rather than steel. There are also new oils that have been optimized for the movement's new materials. So what are some of the design features? Well, this video today is featuring reference Q4018420, which has a case size of 40mm and a height of 8.8mm. Its automatic movement with caliber 899AC allows for 70 hours of power reserve. 
It can withstand a 50 meter water resistance. The Novo Napa calf strap complements the silver dial beautifully, and maybe our watch enthusiasts will appreciate the price of around $6,700. Not for the faint-hearted. Here are five things to consider before buying the GG La Coutre Master Control Date. Starting with number one, the case, dial, and hands. The new Master Control Date case is similar to the rest of the Master Collection in that it is honest, round, and simple in design. It's nicely finished with a satin finished case middle that contrasts with the rest of the mirror polished parts. The stainless steel Master Control Date is designed to be worn daily and for any occasion. The watch will fit most wrists and will even fit under the tightest dress cuffs if worn to a more formal event. The dial, like the case, is fairly straightforward. While it may not win any beauty pageants, it does an excellent job of telling the time and date. The luminescent strip on the hour and minute hands, as well as the luminescent dots next to each hour marker, ensure legibility even in low light conditions. The date window, though a divisive feature on any watch, is discreetly integrated here in place of the three o'clock marker. The second hand in flame blued steel, which adds a much needed pop of color to the otherwise monochromatic face of the watch, could be your favorite part of the dial. This model has a silver dial with a step down dial flange where the calendar date numerals and indices can be found. The applique index hour markers are beveled and polished, similar to the Arabic style numerals used for 12, 3 and 9 o'clock positions. The master control date has always been designed with a no frills approach by Gégé Lacoutre. The dial is intended to be both legible and practical. Keeping track with number two, calendar features. At the 12 o'clock position, the calendar has two windows just beneath the branding. The two windows are side by side with the one on the left indicating the day of the week and the one on the right indicating the month's name. A central calendar hand with a red tip points to the day of the month and serves a special purpose. When the date hand reaches the 15th of the month, just before the start of the moon phase window between the four and five o'clock positions, it jumps across the moon phase to the 16th of the month between the seven and eight o'clock positions to avoid obstructing the moon phase and small second sub-register. The French words quantième à date sortante appear between the numerals for the 15th and the 16th of the month, which translates to calendar with a jumping date. Two recessed pushes can be found on the right side of the case near the two and four o'clock positions. Another recessed pusher is located at the eight o'clock position on the left side of the case. The calendar and moon phase functions are controlled by these pushes. The watch comes with a special tool for making changes to the calendar and moon phase complications. Highlighting number three, the strap. The watch comes with a tan Novo Napa calfskin strap that is suitable for both leisure and business. Of course, the watch can be dressed up simply by swapping out the standard straps for alligator leather straps. The master control date has a slim side profile. It fits most wrists elegantly and securely. This watch is fastened by a stainless steel folding buckle and comes on a tan calf leather strap with light brown stitching. The clasp has a polished finish and an embossed logo. The strap's sides are dark brown and the reverse side is a light beige leather that is soft to the touch and very comfortable to wear. The new calfskin strap pairing gives the master control date a more relaxed appearance than ever before. On to number four, the case back and movement. The sapphire crystal case back reveals the caliber 899 AC. The level of finesse applied to the Calibre 899 AC goes above and beyond what one might expect at the Master Control Date's price point. A glance through the sapphire crystal case back reveals the movement's commendable level of decoration. Geneva waves on the bridges, polished bevels on the edges, heat blued screws, perlage on the base plate, outward anglage, and circular grainage on the wheels, to name a few techniques. The gold rotor that winds the movement has also been skeletonized to show off as much of the Caliber 899 AC as possible. 
Through the sapphire case back, you can see some of the blued steel screws and pink watch jewels. Other decorations include the name of the collection, Master Control, the model number, the JLC logo, the word Swiss made, the water resistance rating, and finally, the JLC hours control seal, which indicates what is most probably the most rigorous testing in the industry. The transparent sapphire case back reveals this beautifully finished, self-winding or mechanical movement and includes a rose gold automatic winding rotor, partially skeletonized with a perfectly symmetrical JL emblem of Jeuget La Coutre. It has gold engravings that show the 34 jewels used in the movement as well as the logo and other markings. Last but not least, number 5, the competitive landscape. Given their utility and often simple good looks, it's no surprise that time and date wristwatches, particularly self-winding ones, are very popular. The Master Control Date is still a competitive product because it provides superior quality and craftsmanship to some extent at a reasonable price. Again, it's what you don't see that distinguishes this version from its predecessors. Otherwise, it's easy to confuse this new model with an older model. In an age where marketing considers a color change to be a very big deal, it's refreshing to come across a watch that hasn't been visually altered and instead focuses on mechanical upgrades. All of these minor changes improve the movement, but the redesign of the barrel is the only one that affects wearability. The new Villeray Extra Plate 655 One Boutique Edition, finished in yellow gold and paired with an equally eye-catching green dial, is sure to draw attention. While the Blanc pair is nearly the same size as the Jeuget La Coutre, the aesthetics are opposite. And this wraps up my review of the Jeuget La Coutre Master Control Date. Thank you for sticking it out through to the very end of this video. Nothing helps my channel more than you watching until the very end. If you enjoy this type of content, let me know in the comments below what other watches you think deserve their own video. And remember, time is your greatest asset.